I got too much in my mind for me not to use my time wisely I think that my eyes, my future always makes my eyes bleed It's too bright, use my best and shit Telling me I'm What's good? The name is Binks. Y'all are the family, and together we are the Binks family. Welcome back to another dreadlock video. All right, so today we're gonna be talking about hair jewelry and or dreadlock jewelry. As you see, we're starting off the day with hair jewelry already in my dreads. Just with that, I feel like my dreadlocks are already starting off dope. I'm pretty sure I did not discuss hair jewelry ever on my channel, but that doesn't mean that I still don't use hair jewelry. I don't really use it often, but that doesn't mean I forgot about it. Today is gonna be a short video. We're just gonna kind of go over different types of hair jewelry and just different looks that you guys could get maybe you guys didn't even know that certain things existed so i'm about to put y'all on today now if you guys are ready for this you guys don't gotta like the video right now but by the end of the video that like button better be pressed or else we're gonna have problems and or you're gonna get kicked out the binks family you know what i'm saying i'll be trying to show y'all love to show that love back like dang hey binks family nevertheless it is time to get into today's topic so let's go all right, so the pieces that you guys see in my dreadlocks are these little hair clip things right here. Hopefully it focused. Now, they're really not that hard to put in. I could actually show you guys how to put these in real quick. Just in case you guys are wondering. Now, I did actually have these in a long time ago. I think probably in one of my videos about two years ago, but I really never used them since that. So it been two whole years since I even used hair jewelry. Basically the piece comes like this. It's like a little circle. And all you really gotta do is just open it up. I know the camera's not really focusing on it. How do I? How do I try to get this to focus, bro? Get it to focus, my brother. I'll just open the clip up like that. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty easy. You just pull it apart. You don't got to cut nothing. And all you really would do is just put it on any part of your dreadlocks. You kind of just clip this around your dread like this and then squeeze it tight. And that's all you really got to do to put these on. Now, just like that, this is attached. You guys could also use these to hide imperfections in your dreadlocks. Say my dreadlock didn't come out right and I didn't like the way it twisted right here. I would just get a dreadlock uh, hair clip and I would just kind of cover that part of my hairstyle up just so nobody could see the mess up. Like I said, I don't really like too much hair jewelry in my dreads. So I'm actually going to take that one out. Now, I feel like some people go over obsessed, over obsessive, obsessive, obsessive. They have so many hair pieces in their dreadlocks that Sometimes it looks cool and sometimes it looks like you overdid it. So personally me, I probably only do something to probably like three to six dreadlocks max. I only got four dreadlocks with hair jewelry pieces in it, as you guys see, you know what I mean? And then one more uh, back here. I like to sprinkle a little bit of drip into my dreadlocks. I don't wanna go overboard to the point it's like overkill. Besides these pieces, there's actually a whole lot of other hair jewelry pieces that you might've actually seen before even if it's like Little Pump. Little Pump does a lot of hair jewelry dreadlock things. I actually have the picture right here on the screen. As you guys see, he got stuff wrapped around his dreadlocks all the way down to the bottom. He got like colored things wrapped around his dreadlocks. I think he got some small pieces in there too. He's got a lot of stuff going on. But all means, if you guys like the way that looks, then go ahead and do it. Personally, I wouldn't really go that crazy, but it still look cool if it fits your style. Yo, every video will be so hot in my bathroom, bro. I'll be trying to run through these videos within like 20 minutes because I get to sweating and you guys start seeing me glistening. Not like I don't shine naturally. Like all my positive energy brings that natural glow out your boy. Anyway, I got my phone right here and I'm just going to kind of run through just different hairstyle pieces so you guys can see them. Maybe you guys want to go get some for yourselves. Right here is a piece that I see is pretty popular, which are the seashells or like little shells that people like to put in their hair. I have actually never had one of these before but my mother did or she at least had them and she was gonna put them in i feel like it's a pretty cool look a lot of people when they look at dreadlocks like it looks like someone's like really natural or really i don't know like deep into their roots so when you start wearing stuff from the land like seashells and stuff i feel like it kind of brings out more culture that's something that i might end up doing when my dreads get longer but we got a long time until that happens right here we got another picture of someone that has little charms in the dreadlocks i do think these look cool i don't know if i'm really a fan of rocking the gold in my hair like i feel i mean i probably could end up doing it but i see a lot of females rocking gold in their hair and in their braids and stuff like that so um i kind of stood away from that i go more for like a silver look but you never know i might try that out so if you guys like the little charms i think they're dope there's a whole lot of them that you guys could get different type of shape and sizes of charms right here it looks like some egyptian stuff going on it looks like one of those like a little egyptian cat things i also see elephants on their hair inside of some charms looks like some fossils or caveman drawings right there in the middle of the screen there's a lot of possibilities which you guys could have when it comes to actual hair charms but yeah that is an option if you guys like them right here 
I can't even lie, this little shirt look fire though. Like, hold on, like, actually, this person actually got like the little hair clips, but like the gold version, as you see on her right side of her head. On the left side of her head, you see like little yarn kind of stuff wrapped around her dreadlocks. Now, honestly, I'm pretty sure these dreadlocks are not real. These are called like fo fox dreadlocks or f I forgot what those are called. They look way too shiny. And if they are real, they must be like freshly coiled or something. Nevertheless, it's still dope. She still look bad, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, yo, if y'all know her Instagram or her, 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 her Facebook or her Twitter or something, and y'all seen her before, let me know, bro. This guy right here got some actually pretty cool dreadlocks. Brings me into some real Rasta firing type of vibes. Like with those big colorful beads in his hair, I'm pretty sure those joints are wooden beads if I'm not mistaken. And the little yarn he wrapped around his hair to kind of match that vibe or that, that Jamaican vibe. That look is fire, especially with the hat that goes with it. Yo, there's a lot of stuff that you guys could do just to bring out your appearance. I feel like nowadays you should dare to be different and just kind of stand out so if you want to get hair jewelry pieces you probably should make yourself look a lot different you guys don't always got to dye your dreadlocks and start killing your dreadlocks with dye you guys can spice them up with just putting some accessories in them one more piece of hair jewelry that i did see before are those little feathers that you guys see in her hair now every time i look at feathers i always think of like a native kind of a native kind of movement like native americans and stuff like that so i really like that just like the seashells it really brings you closer to your roots i feel now this girl i'm not sure if she got dreadlocks that much I mean it kind of looks like she got a couple dreadlocks in her hair she's starting it off as you guys see she doesn't got it all over her hair she just got like one strip of hair with all this hair jewelry in it but yeah I don't know if I educated you at all on hair jewelry pieces that you didn't know existed hopefully I did hopefully I encourage you guys to go spice up y'all dreadlocks and do something different but just know if you guys are young and going for like job interviews and stuff like that I probably do suggest you to take a lot of those hair jewelry pieces out there like really crazy like the super colorful ones a whole bunch of feathers and all that extra stuff i don't think you really should go into an interview like that if you guys are looking for jobs but if you go over things simple just like regular like gold or silver there's natural small things you guys could put in your hair you guys might get a pass in your interview i just felt like i should mention that anyway binks family i hope you guys like this love freaking video bruh we're at four thousand 200 Binks family members. We just hit that today. We're on our way to 5,000, which is crazy to me. I remember when we got the 50 subscriber thank you video. You know what I'm saying? Like that was so long ago. Not only did we hit a thousand Binks family members one time, we hit it two times and hit it three times. And now we hit it four times. Imagine 4,000 people in that room that you're in right now. That's a lot of people. That is a big family. But I love all you guys, so we're gonna keep the family growing. Make sure you guys keep sharing the channel, vibing with the videos, liking the videos, commenting. It helps the video get out to more people and it makes the family grow. I did check the analytics stats on my YouTube channel. It seems like a lot of people that are watching the videos are not fully subscribed yet. So if you guys actually like this video, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. But nevertheless, that's gonna wrap it up for today's topic. So I hope you have a good rest of your day, evening or night, whenever you're watching this. And I'll catch you in the next video.